Hello everyone and welcome to day five of Pneumatic Week and today instead of opening a brand new shiny clean Henry or Hetty I'm going to be unboxing a dirty smelly used pneumatic cleaner. Yes I'm going to be looking at a pneumatic George. What? It says Henry Turbo in the title. Well this box has got George on it so surely it can't have a Henry Turbo in it. Well, I think it does. I've bought this. This is a Henry Turbo, Turbo Electric Henry, that I've had quite a few months, possibly over a year, and I've not really looked at it properly. So today's the day we unbox the Henry Turbo and have a closer look. Now I've had this Henry Turbo quite some time. I had a quick look at it when I got it and then put it back in the box, threw it in the garage and thought one day, I'll have the time to open it and have a proper look. So let's have another look at it. Well, another look for me, a first look for you. Okay, so first thing out of the box is an extension wand and a considerably different type of extension wand to the regular Henry's because, well, it is metal in the middle, painted metal with plastic ends, but this is an electric wand, so this carries some electric cable to power the turbo electric head. So there's that. Next out is the standard carpet and floor nozzle. Not in bad condition, dirty, bits of dog hair on it, but the base plate, that's very nice and cleanish. Just all that yucky hair on it that needs a good clean up. I'll do that at some other point. Now there's this hard floor nozzle. I'm not sure if this came with the turbo electric. It might have done. Um, I think it looks fairly genuine anyway. So that's a dedicated hard floor nozzle. And of course we've got, again, dirty. We've got the slightly older style upholstery nozzle with the slide on brush. Then we have crevice tool, used but not bad condition. This is the other wand, the shorter wand. Now when I first had a Henry Hound, and you, you see my channel, I've got Henry Hound now, but it's an American export one. Never made its way to America or Canada, but it was meant to be exported uh, because it was 120 volt, had an uh, American plug on. Um, some of these models I think had two long wands now this has a long and a short which even for a short person you're stooping a bit so i remember when i first had a henry hound before i sold it i bought myself an extra long wand and i, I must get another one if i can before too long here's the hose again it's dirty it will need a clean but because this carries electric cables i'm not going to submerge it in water well you can submerge these in water but keep the ends out of the water just the main part you can clean but you see that's the hose end and there's the little electrical connector that plugs into the top of Henry and here's the handle which incorporates a suction control that's the button to release the wand and a little switch on off switch that just turns the turbo electric head on and off it doesn't turn Henry on and off it just allows you to switch the electric head on and off. So there's that. And the final tool is a dusting brush. Again, it's the older version. And there's another accessory here. Got this little adapter that allows us to fit those tools to the electric hose and wands. I think that's everything. Apart from the cleaner itself. Oh, it seems very big and heavy compared to all the compact versions I've been looking at this week. Oh, oh, I've just done me back in. No, seriously, I've just pulled a muscle. <laughs> Dear me, it's not that heavy. Oh, right. Oh, I'm getting old, folks. So, oh, if I can bend down again, here he is. Henry Turbo, let's have a closer look 
and hopefully the smell that I first encountered opening this has dissipated somewhat. Okay, before we have a close look at Henry Turbo, I can hear you all shouting, where's the turbo electric head? That should have come with a turbo electric head. And yes, it should have. But the seller, for some reason, only known to the seller, they sold this and they sold the turbo electric head separately, probably to try and make more money. But the price they put the turbo electric head at was, was silly silly money and I thought I can get a brand new one of those for less than you're charging so I did I managed to get hold of a brand new unused turbo electric head in the red color if you remember Henry Hound Henry Hound is basically very similar I think the filter could be different but of course Henry Hound has a green body and a green head but this is the same I think it's yes I think it's unused or slightly used I can't remember it's a while since I got this it's only a 25 watt motor and it works on 24 volts and to look at it you'd think it wouldn't do very well the brushes are quite soft but it's got a very wide airflow very big you know cleaning area and you can just see well we can take the thing out I believe can't we let's just here we go see that red slider there that comes out there so we can take the brush out you can see the inside I think this uh, this is unused I think you see it's got quite a wide opening the suction nice nice and central location got squeegee on the back two little wheels at the front and two larger wheels at the back but it's very very quiet you can hardly hear when I've got my very first Henry Hound and I bought my first Henry Hound. Do you remember Index stores if you're watching from the UK? Well that's why I bought my very first Henry Hound and I think it was when Index were closing or they were soon to close and they were selling the Henry Hound, the green one, and I got it from Index. And I remember when I first turned it on I thought the head was broken because you can't hear it above the noise of the vacuum. But it does a very good job, but um, that big mess test I did with Henry Hound a while ago was on my old carpet, much shorter pile than this. So it'll be interesting to see how the turbo electric head works on this carpet. We can see it, it is a floating head, very similar to a turbo nozzle. So we'll see how it copes with this plush pile and if it gives any grooming action. So we'll have a look at that, won't we, when I uh, switch this on. I think it works, I think I did turn it on. When I first got it. I frequently get asked to buy a vintage Henry so well this is as vintage as it's going to get I think on this channel unless I can get hold of the pneumatic Swift their upright cleaner but that's very rare and uh, unlikely I'll get one of those but who knows never say never. So they haven't changed a lot but they have made some changes to the machines. Now, one noti noticeable change is the face on the earlier models. They're just stickers. And of course, on the later ones, it's the 3D face, which you can take off. But these, are, well, they're not permanent. You can peel these stickers off. But this is what you get with the older style Henrys. And they're very good condition, actually. This whole cleaner is in pretty good shape, I think. What else is different? Let's have a look underneath if we can spot any differences. Obviously this is based on the larger Henry, the 200 size. So we've got two swivel casters at the front and two fixed wheels at the back. And here at the back of Henry we can see there's no provision for tool storage. That was a later addition. Of course there's no parking slot either. We do have provision to store one cleaning tool this little clip here so you can put the dusting brush if you want or whatever tool you use the most the upholstery nozzle you can buy additional clips or at least you could buy additional clips like this so you could put in theory you could put three well in theory you could put more than three around and put all the tools around it but it wouldn't it wouldn't look very very aesthetically pleasing is the word another difference we've got the vents on the back instead of having one vent in the central part on the back of the motor unit we've got two either side and this is a single speed and it's a push button switch on the back large red switch let's have a look under the handle 
at the rating plate. Well, I'm not sure how to date this cleaner, so if any pneumatic fanatics are in the audience, please comment below and tell me if you can date this machine for me. So anyway, it's Pneumatic International Limited. This is model HVR 200T-2. It has a 1200 watt max, 1000 watt IEC motor, 10.5 kilograms. And the serial number is 11130179. On the front of Henry here we can see the 24 volt socket, 25 watts maximum. And now let's have a look inside. Put that to one side and have a look underneath. Oh that is different isn't it? It looks all fairly clean. I don't think, I might have wiped it over when I first got it, I don't know, but I seem to remember it absolutely stunk when I first opened this. But that, yeah, that looks pretty clean. I hope, I hope it works okay. So in here, yeah, ooh, I think this is what smelt. I'm just gonna give it a whiff. That isn't as bad as it was. The, well, the several months, up to a year it's been in the garage, the smell has gone, but I did actually buy a new filter. And it was a genuine one, but it's slightly different to this. It will fit. But I think I'll, I'll run that through the washing machine. You're not supposed to wash them, but it's a second-hand thing. Do not wash. Do not wash, it says. But I will. I'll. That bit comes out as well, I'm sure, this uh, plastic part. I won't take it out yet because I want to switch this on. I'll need to put a bag inside. Here is the inside of the bin. So what I'm going to do is give this a wipe out, fit a bag, and we'll switch the Henry Turbo on. Okay, well that's the bin a bit cleaner. I've just used some wet wipes, but I'm going to give it a proper clean at some point, but it's a lot better than it was. As I was cleaning the dust off, I noticed a date wheel and it's got 11. So I'm assuming that this is from 2011 and there is an 11 on the rating plate, on the serial number. So I'm assuming then that this Henry Turbo is from 2011. So not quite vintage, well it couldn't be vintage by any description, but it is probably the oldest uh, Henry I've got at the moment. Okay, so I've got myself a HepaFlow bag, which I'll pop in. Like so, oh it's quite a tight fit. And that is a tighter fit, it's no bad thing, that is a tighter fit than the Henrys I've been looking at this week. So there we go. Then on the, it's not too bad, but it does smell a bit. It's like, there we go, that's the filter. Just to save my nostrils, I'm gonna pop one of these vac fresheners, these cheap ones you can get. You're probably not supposed to, but a lot of people use these. I'm just gonna pop it under there. So it'll smell a little bit more pleasant when it comes out of the exhaust of Henry. So on goes Henry's head. There we are, that's on securely. So we can now pull out the mains cable. And I have to say, this is a thicker mains cable than the, uh, the newer models. Still a 10 meter cable, I believe. Okay, I think I'll be okay. I, I, I'm gonna risk switching on. It might be on when I plug it in. Right. Let's give it a go. Very nice. I don't think there's anything wrong with the motor. Okay, let's attach the hose, the electric hose. Now this uses a different fitting. It's got the screw thread on Henry's nose, but this uses a lug fitting or bayonet type fitting. So it doesn't actually, you don't have to screw it all the way. Now one advantage of the Henry Turbo, you can just put a regular Henry hose on if you want to. So if you're not using the turbo electric head, you can put a regular Henry hose on. So if you're going out to clean the car, you might want a lighter, flexible, slightly longer hose when, then just put it onto Henry's nose 
and leave this to one side because it's quite long the um, electric hose but it is slightly less flexible than the standard one so we plug it in here just turn it one one little way there until it sort of clicks then we can put the little plug into the socket so there we are and then we can switch on again now this Henry is a higher wattage obviously to the 620 watt the standard Henry has these days so I believe this was a thousand was it I think a thousand watt well 1200 watt max a thousand watt IEC whatever that means so we can save a thousand watt minimum so a standard Henry or Hetty 620 watt motor that you can buy now comes to about 80 on this suction gauge so hmm it'll be interesting because I think Henry uh, pneumatic have improved the Henry motors even though they're a lower wattage I think they they're more efficient and possibly have more suction obviously this is an older cleaner the filters a bit dirty it's not terribly dirty it's got a brand new bag in so the suction shouldn't be impaired too much but I've just put the adapter on so we've got a nice round area we can put the suction gauge on now let's see what this Henry Turbo has in way of suction. Well, the Henry Turbo measured around 90 on the gauge, so it is more powerful than the 620 watt motors that register around 80. But of course, if you say this is a 1200 watt motor, it is using almost double the electricity. Okay, I'm going to see if this turbo electric head works. I think the head should be fine because I'm pretty sure it's new, but it's whether the connectors are fine still. I'm wondering why the seller decided not to sell it with the head and sold the head separately but it should work fingers crossed anyway so I'm just going to connect it directly to the hose end it should just click into position there we go ah. right well it's off at the switch so when I turn Henry on it's not going to come on yet but when I flip the switch hopefully we'll see some action Well, I've just come across my first problem with the Henry Turbo. When I connected both ones to the hose and then to the turbo electric head, the turbo electric head didn't work. Now we know it works when connected to the end of the hose, so the hose isn't the problem. The problem's in one or both of the electric tubes. So what I've done as a quick fix, hopefully, I just sprayed some of this contact cleaner into the contacts into the holes at the top and at the other end on the contacts just giving it a good spray with this i've let it dry and now i'm going to reassemble so uh, what i've noticed though since adding the contact cleaner these seem to slide in and out a lot better so we're going to give it another go that goes in and then finally the handle into the wand Right, fingers crossed, this works. Well, yes, the good old contact cleaner seems to have done the trick. That's the first thing I grab. If something doesn't work, grab the contact cleaner, give it a spray, make sure it's dry and then reconnect. And sometimes if you have a little prayer, cross your fingers, it works. 
Incidentally, that reminds me, I'm, I must buy some more of that because I've nearly run out. So that seems to have cured it for now. Um, whether or not it's going to be a permanent fix, I don't know. But yes, it works with both wands. I can push it along this carpet, but with the suction valve fully open. But yeah, it grooms okay. It doesn't groom as well as maybe an old Hoover upright would, but it grooms this carpet fine. Okay then, folks, let's put some dirt down, shall we? Well, as you can see, Henry Turbo really gobbled up all that mess, and that was quite a lot of mess I put down for this demo. Not as big as my biggest mess test. It was sort of a, a mini big mess test, but even the big clumps of hair, the Turbo Electric gobbled them up. It's fantastic. It's a shame Pneumatic don't offer a Turbo Electric head. Now, if Pneumatic are watching, what I would suggest, humbly suggest, if they could look into this, unless they they may already have. Wouldn't it be marvellous, folks, if Pneumatic can take this design and make it into a standalone cordless head, similar to the Miele Acunova, which I've demonstrated many years ago on my channel, which was good, but the battery lasted a few minutes and conked out. It was, the battery was rubbish. But the principle of having a rechargeable head was very good. So make this, add a, a slot in, rechargeable battery and sell it as an optional accessory for all your pneumatic cleaners, Henry's and Hetty's. Do you think, I'm thinking especially actually, on the Henry cordless and the Hetty cordless, this would be marvellous because then you've got a fully cordless vacuum with the sort of performance that this head gives. It's only 24 volts, you could easily turn this, I would have thought, into a cordless. In fact, Anyone with a little bit of know-how could possibly take an existing one and do that, but wouldn't that be fantastic? Anyway, that's just my feelings on the subject. I really like these. They're quite big and bulky to use. But as I said, when you don't need the turbo head, just put on a normal hose and then this becomes just like a regular Henry. Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I've quite enjoyed making it after well, I don't know how long ago I bought this. It's quite a while, been sitting in the garage in its box. It's nice to get it out. Really, really pleased that it does need a bit of a spit and a polish. But uh, on the whole, very good. Excellent machine. Well, tune in, same time, same place, for another pneumatic video. And I'll see you all very soon.
subscribe, click the bell icon, and of course comment below if you've anything to say about this vacuum cleaner. See you all tomorrow and bye for now.